excited about this weekend because it is Ryan's birthday this weekend and he's super excited about his birthday he's like a little kid he really is but the cool part is is with all the timing of his job loss and new job and everything he was actually scheduled to work on his birthday at his old job so he's pretty happy that he doesn't have to work on his birthday now so we're gonna have a special birthday dinner with our friend Martha of course our Saturday night dinner and um, we're gonna see what other fun we can get into the county fair is here and that's always fun to go to and there's also a powwow on the other side of the river so we're hoping to get a lot of fun family time in this weekend to celebrate Ryan's birthday was she in here before you opened the door yeah. miss Doug, are you sleeping in the barn? No, she oh, she, she, she was. Just, she started talking until you walked up behind her. She was just outside. Oh, don't chase her! Don't she, chase her! Slow down. She was outside and I opened the door. Shady's not too pleased about her no. evening arrangements. Are you, Shady? No. Yeah, no. You got stuck no. in here with Bo and Eugene. Oh. But we want you and Bo to be girlfriend and boyfriend for no. at least a couple of days. So, Fluffer Nutter, did you did you manage did you manage to make some girlfriends last night? Huh? Fancy and Willow, did you let him, you know, be your friend? I hope so. I hope Fluffer Nutter's gonna be a man now, huh? Daddy forgot to put hearts in here, but at least he got these two. So, those are the two I was strongly, strongly suggested that they were in heat yesterday. So, hopefully they got a little bit of love in them. Ooh, you like that. That is actually special duck food, which our feed store doesn't even carry, so I never even knew it existed. But um, Ryan's new work, they were going through some of the feed and getting rid of stuff that they didn't need anymore. And they had a bag of duck food that they didn't use anymore, so they let Ryan have it. I thought that was very generous and nice of them. Mrs. Duck thinks so too. Oh, she likes it. Good job, Mrs. Duck. We need to clean that water out. It's full of algae. I'm surprised. Daddy must have grabbed it from the old pile because he's usually really good about giving them clean water. Oh, you scared her. She was trying to eat and drink. Let her eat and drink. What is that toy you got there? Liam, what's that in your hand? Is that a piggy? Let me see. Can you make that piggy make a noise? Does that piggy make a noise? It sounds just like a pig. Like pig. That's duck food. It sounds like a real live pig. It does, doesn't it? And Rowan is feeling better today after getting plenty of rest. Whoops, you stepped on it. That's all right. Fluff another. Fancy was just trying to show you how it's done. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. Fancy was just mounting fluffing at her. I've never seen anything so funny in my life. Baby boy, you've got to be old enough. You're old enough for it. I know you are. I've seen you do Bucky behavior before. Now that you've got two girlfriends in heat, you're just going to be like, Mammy! <laughs> She wants you to be her friend. Go play with her. Mrs. Duck, you've turned into my shadow. You're just always where I'm at. I was walking out to the paddock and she was following me. I was bringing hay out there and she was right under my feet the whole time. And I gave her food over there already. So she has food. She's not begging for food. She just loves me. Miss Shady Girl here is such a good goat. She's such a little sweetie. She is not showing any signs of heat and she's not interested in Bo and he's not interested in her. But I'm hoping by putting them together at night that'll stimulate some love interest. So on average, um, 
goats will come into heat every three weeks. So 21 days is the average heat cycle. And we look for signs of heat by looking for tails wagging, um, bucky type behavior, fancy girls in there mounting fluff and utter and making bucky noises. And um, sometimes they have goo dripping from their vulva and swollen vulvas. But usually the tail up in the air and wagging is like the really clear sign. And they'll act different. Their, their temperament will change. Um, and Fancy, uh, Shady here hasn't shown any signs of that. So Fancy is in strong full heat right now. And she's actually being kind of obnoxious. So that Fluffernutter is ending up afraid of her. So hopefully we can get her bred with him. Because I don't have another buck to breed her to. Because Bo's her son. So, hopefully they'll uh, figure things out and get that situated. He's only eight months old is part of the problem. He's not an experienced buck. So, um, but I know that he's mature enough for it and he's done bucky things in the past. Um, but he's just not showing the signs right now. So, hopefully being around the girls in heat will make him come into rut and make him interested. Meanwhile, they're tearing up the whole stall because Fancy Girl is ready right now. Oh my goodness, you babies are jealous of me trying to steal mama's milk. I tried to get some milk and these babies jumped up here and started nursing. They said, oh, were you gonna take what was left? I think we're going to take what's left. Babies first. Always let the babies go first, yes grow big strong healthy babies is the number one priority there'll be plenty of milk for us later these babies will make plenty of milk yeah when they grow up well Jennifer won't provide milk will you no she ain't. I might I might provide some great genetics for your herd if you want me I don't know what I'm going to do about Juniper because I don't know that I can sell Juniper unless I had somebody very special that I knew that needed a buck or a weather. It's going to be hard. These are my special babies. After all the trauma we went through this summer, they saved my life. They did. And they love their mama's milk. Good babies. Grow big and strong. Grow big and strong. Mommy, you got some dusty food in there. You're always the last one up. Oh, careful. <laughs> You're always the last one up on the feed stand and get the dust in the bottom of the bowl, huh? What are you boys doing? I'm cleaning some trash. Thank you for cleaning up trash. That is very great. You found that old alcohol bottle again? Yeah. Oops, baby, falling off on my lap. <laughs> well, well, the jar actually is not trash because it's a mason jar and it can be scrubbed out and made clean again. Oh, Liam. What are you doing? He was just trying to kiss the baby on the lips. That's why he was grabbing its muzzle like that. Oh, don't kiss the butt. <laughs> kiss the leg. Oh, sweet babies. You love them. Liam, how do you get so dirty? How do you get so dirty? Your face is filthy. Baby wants to see you, yeah. That's a tail. We don't kiss tails because there's poopy on tails. <laughs> Juniper's climbing in my lap. You sweet Juniper. <laughs> I love Juniper's markings. It's like polka dotted. <laughs> it's not that noticeable, but when the light hits it just right, you can see that there's spots in the brown. Oh. Lighter color brown spots. It's pretty. Whoa, friend, you jump. You're so big. Hello. You girls know it's hot today, huh? Or is it just mm -hmm. the hay is yummy? 
What is it, hearts? You missing a boyfriend? Because you didn't get put in the right stall no. last night. If you're looking for a boyfriend, I think we can hook you up tonight, honey. We like to breed our does in the fall so that we get a late winter dolings born. Dolings, listen to me. I'm already calling all of our babies dolings. Preferably, they will all be. <laughs> Except the problem with that would be is I'd want to keep every single one. But we do have some additions we need to make to our herd. So we've got to look into that seriously at this point. If we're going to move forward with pet milk sales in the spring, then we're going to need a lot more goats and milk than what we have right now. Right now, we've got more than enough for our family and then some, but we need to get to the level of being able to provide an income for our family. Well, hello, babies. Don't mind Liam throwing a temper tantrum behind me. He's okay. He chomped it all up. Eugene likes to chomp things up. Mmm. That's a dry pecan leaf. Is that what you gave him last time? Or did you give him a green one? Yeah, he prefers green. Yeah, be careful of the fans. You know that now, don't you? <laughs> yeah. You looking for a leaf for him? Let's see. Let's see you feed it to him. Nope. Yeah, he's thinking about it. He's, smell, he's smelling it. He's, not, he's smelling it, yeah. <laughs> I gave him the best one. Maybe he just wants to bigger one. Maybe. Bigger, bigger bell, you cheat. Bigger, bigger bell. The chickens love this spot. It's uh, a nice shady spot for them, and it's been good. They've had lots of bugs and weeds and everything to eat. They're doing really good. This coop here, we had the three Marans that Ryan got from the feed store this winter. I don't know if you guys remember that, when he came home with chicks surprising me with them. Well, one of them, or at least one or two of them are hands. Two of the, no, I'm sorry. Two are hens, one is a rooster, and at least one, and likely two, are laying. Because I've had dark brown eggs that we found recently. Liam, you can't yell just because your brother is feeding Eugene. It's not acceptable. It's okay if he feeds Eugene. Eugene is a nice goat. Eugene likes to be fed. I think he's chewing his cud right now, Rowan. So he probably won't add anything to it. All right, let's go in, boys. <laughs> Always with the fall, <laughs> buddy. You gonna help him up? Gentle on his arms. Come on, Liam, help. Help yourself, help. Okay, gentle. He's not a play toy. Come on, Liam. Oh, it has to be Mama that helps. Mama, <laughs> you notice I'm not really Mommy, helping. I'm I just, love you. I love you too, buddy. I guess this is going to be a good video. Yes, it is. Water. Oh. oh, you ready to go? You gonna carry it? I carry my water. All right, let's go. These pawpaw right here are doing really good, but I need to get them in bigger pots, and I keep forgetting to get pots when I'm in town. 
I gotta check and see if the dollar store has some or something because I hate paying money for pots. I used to have piles of pots and I guess I gave them away enough, gave away enough plants that I don't have anymore. So I always tell people, bring the pots back if you can, but it doesn't always happen. But the good news is, is I got in touch with somebody who grows pawpaws and they are sending me some fruit in the mail. They should be shipping it today. And I will have all that fruit to eat, which will be amazing. And I will definitely let you guys know what I make with it. Um, if I don't eat it all raw. And I'll have all of those seed to save and start some new plants. So I'm super excited. I think the pawpaw do really well here. And the deer don't eat them. So... I think it's going to be a good crop for us to have as a perennial crop to add to our permaculture garden and our permaculture orchard. So that is our next step in this coming week is to get those and get the seed out of them and get the seed prepared. Pawpaw seed have to stay wet. So you either put it in a baggie with wet sand or perlite or um, you plant it right away into wet soil. I haven't decided quite what I'm gonna do yet. I might do both. Whoa, Ro Rowan, what is that? What? Your head almost touched it. Your head shadow. You mean that blue thing? Yeah. What is it? Pick it up. Ooh. Don't smush it, pick it up. Gentle. Is it a feather? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. It's What's so It was so iridescent, I thought it might have been. Let me see. Oh, wow, that's a pretty color. It was so iridescent, I thought it might be a dragonfly wing. That's why I was saying be yeah. gentle. I'll take, I'll take that too. You're coming, Liam. That water slowed you down, huh? Made you walk super slow. <laughs> Ready to go get washed up? All right. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.